morning everybody so i'm just going to give you an update that we are still here in tarpon spring florida and we like it here so we spend like two weeks over here in this hotel and it, we have a big suite right now we moved to another room and we really like it so i'm gonna give you a tour here's the balcony it's bigger than the other room overlooking the pool and here's the two queen bed and here's brianna hello everybody bryson just woke up a little cranky he has a lot of cracking here's the bathroom and then here's the living room and this bed is converted into couch and here's the kitchenette very nice has two tv <laughs> two tv but we don't even watch that tv over there today we are going to the very nice park over here it's in palm harbor called wall spring parks and we're gonna give you a tour brianna's so excited yeah and also also i got an appointment in the park it's not yesterday i it's that yesterday I met a very good friend and then he promised me that we are that I'm gonna meet him in three or maybe four. And there's daddy. It's me. What's up? Where are we going? We're going to I said Wall Street Park. Wall Street, <laughs> yeah, it's called it's, Wall Springs. Yeah, it's Wall Springs. Wall Springs Park. Starting route to Wall Springs Park. In one point two miles, turn left onto alternate nineteen. This park is only a couple miles from our uh, hotel, very close. Another great park over here uh, we haven't been to yet, we're going to see if it's really great. It is called Anderson Park, we're going to go to that one. Yeah, this park is recommended by our friend, a Filipino couple, they visited us yesterday. They, uh, Luisa watched our videos and they are so nice couple. They live here for 40 years, right here in Palm Harbor area. And this park is very nice, so we're gonna give you a tour right now. So thank you so much, uh, Luisa and Jerry, for visiting us yesterday. We have a fun time. And thank you for giving Brianna a lot of books to read. <laughs> She's gonna enjoy and learn more. Yeah, and also the coloring books. And me and my dad read the books yeah, last night. And also Luisa made me a homemade photo. I ate last night, it was really yummy. Very, very yummy, thank you so much. Gotta watch out for the foot traffic and the bicycles on this little crossway, crosswalk for them. All right, let's go park and check out Wall Springs Park. It's a big park. Big park. This is a very nice park. See, I never see it like this in Reno. Over there too. Oh, the canopies to protect the kids yeah. from the rain. Or they can still play in the rain when it's warm out. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Grayson, you're going to go on the slide? The cool thing is, it's January 25th, <laughs> and the uh, weather's about 70 degrees, right? Yes. And uh, not like this in most of the country, <laughs> really. Yeah. And it's got a tropical thing to it happening. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, and there's even pine trees here. We'll take a walk a little bit too here. Yeah. It's right on the ocean. People are doing picnics. On the other side of those trees, a little bit is the ocean. Are you ready, Bryce? You want to One, go down? Two, two, three. Here we go. Here we go. Cool. Slide down. <laughs> <laughs> That's your slide. That's a baby slide. What I like about Florida, really, maybe I do a pros and cons here too, a little bit. 
I like about Florida is uh, so many parks, so many parks, so many rest stops uh, that are very um, clean uh, and uh, accommodating for families, anyone, everyone. It's really cool. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven it's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling and I can't see This gravity, it keeps bringing me down I can't breathe and I don't want to die Can we stop this gravity? Cause I don't want to say goodbye beautiful parks throughout Florida. You just don't see the dedication to this kind of thing in California, Nevada, anywhere else, nowhere else in the country can I think of that has the beauty, this tropical beauty, and the money they put into this. Look at this walkways. They go on so far. There's water on this side also. So there's inlet waterways both ways of this pathway. Coming in. Over here through the trees too. Oh, beautiful out here. The waterway continues. So the picnic areas are numbered. This one here is shelter number three. You got barbecue pits and everything. You can just use these. And lots of them throughout this beautiful park. And there's the big blue ocean out there through those trees. That's opened up over there. We're gonna walk around and take a look at that. Getting a little breezy this afternoon. It's about four o'clock but it's not cold it's just a just right into january can you believe it so it feels so good to be able to get outside any time of the year you want to and and not have to you know be freezing here freezing not have to be freezing that's it i, I did wear my bomber jacket a few times uh, quite a few days because it's been a little been cold big cold front came down but uh still nothing like being up in reno or tahoe or the north part of the united states now on the downside of being in florida it's uh, not all uh, uh candy and nuts or puppy dogs and rainbows because uh that some of the people are just as cranky as they are in other places where it's real hectic. It is getting hectic here. They still drive too fast, so they got a, the, the traffic isn't any different around these uh, tourist areas for sure. But uh, even in Ocala, people drive like a bed out of hell. So that's not pleasant. And people are still stressed, and I think people are living beyond their means. 
uh, they don't have the highest wages over here or salaries, but I don't think people really have that much extra disposable income. I think that's part of what stresses them out. I'm not sure, but they are stressed, um, but they're not as stressed as they are from where we came. But the people out here at this park are not. They're relaxing. They pulled the keys out of their car, took a little time. It's beautiful right here. So the thing about Florida that it, I want to share my thoughts a little bit, maybe my impressions uh, to be in here another month. I've been, been here many times throughout my life, but uh, we're looking around for property and stuff like that. And also rentals, like things are a little bit different here and the prices are going up and the taxes are high and you've got extra things to contend with like uh, you know uh, lots of extra insurances you have to get like your homeowner's insurance would be probably mm, probably double what it is property taxes are um, much higher than they are uh, in other parts of the country so you might so for two hundred fifty thousand dollar house, you probably spend uh, three thousand a year on taxes. Maybe about eighty-five, or hundred bucks a month for uh, homeowners insurance. You might have flood insurance. A lot of areas around this Tarpon Springs over here by the ocean and around uh, Newport Ritchie has got uh, their flood zones, so you have to pay an extra uh, few hundred plus a year for that. You might have to pay for sinkhole insurance depending on your, where you are, and there's maps and things to determine all that. So, but the prices are higher over here, but, uh, and the houses are still a lot cheaper than they are in California and uh, Northern Nevada, Reno, a lot cheaper than they are in Reno. So you just have to look at the trade-off, look at all this beauty, and you can actually go outside any time of the year, pretty much, except during a hurricane. Philippines, we call them typhoons. Let's go check out the tower. Here it is, right here. This would be a great place to uh, take off on the drone. Our friend Jerry was telling me that this walkway was made for the handicapped people and uh, delayed uh, the final opening of this place by a few years. It costs a ton of money, but there's a lot to this. The handicapped people can come all the way up. It comes all the way from there, and it comes from the other direction over there up. And then the ramp keeps going up this way. And then up that way on the other side. Jerry was telling me that the skateboarders come up here all the way to the top and then come down. They're not supposed to do that. They're not supposed to do it. Don't do that, skateboarders. You get in trouble. I think they have a park ranger here. Let's take the handicap ramp just to show you. You can take the stairs if you want to get up quick. All right, let's take the stairs. This level, we'll get to see treetops and a peek through the, the bay, the bay right there. This is the top floor, guys. Best view in the house right here. I'm a little out of breath because I'm a little out of shape. Too much time driving in that car across the country. 
Take the ramp down. Wonder where Brianna's doing over there in the playland. She found a friend yet. She finds friends pretty quickly. Let's go check it out. Brianna's have a blast over there. She found two friends. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven it's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling and I can't see the ground Can we stop this gravity? It keeps bringing me down